Well, hello everyone. I'm in my backyard today because I wanna share with you my backyard garden. And we don't have a lot of garden space. We have a decent sized backyard, but I wanna share with you what I'm growing this spring and then probably do another video in the summer of what it's looking like. And we live in zone five in South Dakota in the Midwest. So we don't have a long growing season, but definitely long enough to get a decent amount of produce. So I planted mid-May this year. I normally plant like more around Memorial Day, but this year the weather was nice enough and I did run into a problem of having some frost for a couple days that nipped some of my tomato plants, but they did come back slightly um, stunted though. So. I'm gonna share with you my produce garden and what I am growing here this season. So here in this garden, I have some potatoes right here. I have two rows of potatoes and most people around here say we should plant potatoes on Good Friday. I do not do that. So I planted those again in May like I did with everything else. And so I have potatoes here. So I have a couple variety of tomatoes and here, this one I have, it's called a health kick tomato. And then this one is an early girl. So the plants are doing decently well. Their size is pretty large. This one for sure the early girl is. And I think around end of July, beginning of August is when they'll start to produce. This garden is quite shady. And so it sometimes struggles. We had some trees trimmed and we're growing to cut down some trees. So that will help with the produce growing better. But yeah, with the shade last year, I did not get any tomato plants. It was, it was rough. So you learn as you go. All right, in this row, I have some pepper plants. These are a rainbow variety. I've never planted rainbow variety and they are not doing great. They are pretty short. I stuck the tag in so I knew what they were. Um, yeah, as you can see, one, two, three, four, and then two more right there. They are not doing very well at all. I'm guessing because they need more sunlight than what I have provided here. And then I just planted about five days ago this row of onions, as you can see here. They are coming up fairly well, and I had to learn to plant my onions deeper, otherwise I do not get a crop. Um, and then I have two carrots, or sorry, two cucumber plants, and the problem I'm gonna run into here is I think bugs are eating them, if you can see that. And last year I really struggled with cucumbers too. I didn't get a crop. And then right here, I have just a little row of carrots. I believe that's a flower, so I left it. So just a little bit of carrots, and you can tell the shade got these, so they're not coming up real well. And then right back here are the rest of my onions, which are doing super well right now. So this is a recent plant this year of a garden, a new till garden. And it's more of a protege garden where I'll have some herbs, some vegetables, and some um, flowers. And in the back, I have a small row of green beans, and I use the bush type. And then I have some tomatoes, they're doing okay, and a couple pepper plants. And then I have a few carrots growing right over there. And those are some seeded marigolds, I believe is what I planted. All right, I have some cabbage right here. I normally plant cabbage in my husband's aquaponics, but we are moving our aquaponics system, so we did not plant one this year. Um, so yeah, there's some purple cabbage and some green cabbage and that one's a late cabbage so the purple ones are more of an early cabbage then i have just some flowers here and then i planted some curry i've never done that before so i thought i would try it it smells so good and then zucchini of course and that will be plenty three plants is a plethora of plants there's some sage right there um, i have wild mint that i just transplanted there lavender, cat mint, some grasses, and then some of these orange flags have some flowers there that I didn't want to step on. So as you can see, tomatoes are not doing great in here. You can tell that that's where the frost got those ones right there because they are really looking very poor.
One more plant is this strawberry plant. I didn't know where I wanted to put it in the ground, so I put it in a bucket, and that is one way where if you don't know where you wanna put it for the first year, just put it in there, and then I will transplant it to the ground when I know where I wanna put it. Okay, moving to some of my containers. I just have some lettuce here that was picked last night, so it looks a little peaked. Some spinach that is about to seed. They like cooler weather, so I planted those um, yeah, mid-May as well, and I've gotten several pickings. And then basil, I'm really looking forward to this. It's coming in so nicely to make some pesto. Oh, it smells so good. So there's that container. Then on the other side over here in this container, see my cucumbers. If you know what's going on, let me know. I think it's ants, because there's some ants right there. But that is not good, so that one's gonna be shot. So we have some kale, and then just some parsley around the edge. And I know parsley usually needs more space, but for now, that's where it's gonna be. All right, then back here is my bigger garden. It's on the side of our garage. I planted five rows of sweet corn. Three of them I planted earlier than the other two. So I'm hoping to get an earlier crop. But as you can see, they all kind of caught up in height. I have some new crops this year that I've never tried. I have radishes, turnips, and beets. And they're more of an early crop, so I'm really excited about that, at least the radishes. They're right here. I've picked most of those already, so they will be done here in the next couple days. And then I'll plant something else in there. I'm not sure yet. And I have a few more cabbage right here. And then next to those are my turnips, and then followed by the beets. And then we'll move on back, and I'll show you the rest of that. Okay, so next to the beets in this weed patch right here, I have some snap peas, and I'll put a trellis right up the middle or some sort of fencing. So as you can see, they're kind of coming in here slightly. So those are lined up to there and lined up there, and I need to do a little weeding. And then I have just like a half row of green beans. My husband doesn't like green beans a lot, and last year off this amount, I got enough to even freeze. So I have some more bush type green beans right here. And then I planted some pumpkins and watermelon. This is the watermelon, I believe. And then I have a couple pumpkins, one there and one on the other side of that. And then right here, I have some cantaloupe. So fruit usually does not do too great for me, but I thought I'd give it a shot again and see how it does, because this is a newer tilled area as well. So my garden used to stop where the corn is right there. So usually it would be the size of where the corn is at. I'm sure you're seeing this. These are pumpkins from seeds that were thrown. I decided to try them and leave them. I usually get squash bugs. So we'll see how they do. Um, I pulled half of them out already, to be honest, but I left these for fun for now. We'll see, they might take over the corn too much and so then I'll get rid of them, but kind of fun to have volunteer plants as well, as long as they don't become a pest. So I also wanted to mention with my beans, I'll be doing some succession planting um, and radishes too. So I'll get more than one type of crop off these gardens. For my radishes, like I said, once they're done here, I'll plant something else or plant more radishes. And then with beans, I can plant again after all these beans are grown and picked and get a fall crop. So succession planting really does work even with a shorter growing season, like I said we have. Um, and also wanted to mention that my viney plants here have all this room over there to grow to and up our fence. So um, I do recommend not planting them super close to other things and give them plenty of space to grow. So that's where I probably will need to take more of my volunteer pumpkins out up there too. So just um, keeping in mind that you need room for viney plants to grow and I need to uh, maintain and control the direction that they end up growing. Okay everybody, well that is it. That is my backyard produce garden. It is getting a little windy and gonna storm, so I'm gonna finish up here. But I hope to bring you along as the summer goes with my backyard garden. And help me out on some of those things. If you see something where you think could be improved, let me know, or what's going on with my cucumbers. Um, and hopefully I can inform you along the way as I learn about this process too 
and how um, my garden goes. This is my third year having a garden here and I know it's a trial and error process. Gardening really is. You just gotta jump in and go sometimes if you don't know what you're doing. I grew up gardening so I do love it but I still have to learn as I go. Everybody is learning so give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll talk with you in my next video. Bye.